Welcome. This presentation provides an overview of network forensics, an important field focused on investigating security incidents through network analysis. Let's explore how network forensics can help identify, understand, and respond to cyber threats. So what exactly is network forensics? Network forensics involves the capture, recording, and analysis of network events. This process helps in discovering the source of security attacks or other problem incidents. It's like being a detective, but instead of crime scenes, we're investigating digital networks. Network forensics has several key objectives. First, incident detection, where we identify security breaches, unauthorized access, and malicious activities through network traffic analysis. Second, timeline reconstruction, we establish a chronological sequence of events to understand how an attack progressed and the methods used. Third, attribution, we trace activities back to their source to identify potential threat actors and their techniques. Finally, evidence collection, where we gather and preserve network-based evidence in a forensically sound manner for potential legal proceedings. To conduct network forensics, we rely on various data sources. These include packet captures, often called PCAP files, which contain raw network traffic data with complete packet information, including headers and payloads. Next, network flow data, which provides metadata about network connections, including source and destination internet protocol addresses, ports, and traffic volume. Firewall logs provide records of allowed and blocked traffic, along with timestamps and connection details. Proxy logs give us web traffic records, including uniform resource locators, user agents, and hypertext transfer protocol request or response data. Intrusion Detection System and Intrusion Prevention System alerts provide security alerts with threat details. Domain Name System logs provide domain name resolution records, showing which host names were accessed by which systems. Several essential tools are used in network forensics. Wireshark, an industry standard packet analyzer that allows deep inspection of hundreds of protocols with powerful filtering capabilities. A use case is the detailed analysis of captured network traffic to identify malicious patterns. Network Miner, a network forensic analysis tool that extracts files, images, and metadata from captured traffic. A use case is extracting and analyzing artifacts from network captures without deep packet knowledge. Zeek, formerly known as Bro, is a network security monitoring framework that provides high-level network event logs and behavioral analysis. A use case is long-term monitoring and detection of suspicious network activities. Finally, TCP Dump, a command-line packet analyzer for capturing and displaying packet data on a network interface. A use case is lightweight packet capture in resource-constrained environments or remote systems. The network forensics investigation process generally follows these steps. First, collection, capturing network traffic and gathering logs from relevant network devices using forensically sound methods. Second, examination, filtering and analyzing captured data to identify relevant packets, connections, and communication patterns. Third, analysis, interpreting findings to reconstruct events, identify attack vectors, and determine the extent of the incident. Fourth, reporting, documenting findings, creating a timeline of events, and preparing comprehensive reports with supporting evidence. Finally, remediation, providing recommendations to address vulnerabilities and prevent similar incidents in the future. Let's examine a case study involving a data exfiltration investigation. In this scenario, a financial institution detected unusual outbound traffic patterns during non-business hours. The security team suspected potential data exfiltration from a compromised internal system. Initial alerts came from the Security Information and Event Management System, showing large data transfers to an unknown external internet protocol address. Forensic findings revealed several key points. Packet analysis showed encrypted domain name system tunneling, was used to exfiltrate sensitive data. Malware on a compromised workstation established persistence via scheduled tasks. 
Initial access was traced to a phishing email with a malicious attachment. Timeline analysis showed the attacker's presence for 37 days before detection. Network forensics presents several challenges. Encryption, the increasing use of transport layer security and secure sockets layer encryption, makes deep packet inspection difficult or impossible, obscuring malicious activities. The solution is to focus on metadata analysis, transport layer security fingerprinting, and endpoint monitoring. Data volume, modern networks generate massive amounts of data, making full packet capture and analysis resource intensive. The solution is to implement selective capture, sampling techniques, and automated analysis. Volatile evidence, network data is transient and must be captured in real time, or it's permanently lost, unlike disk forensics. The solution is to deploy continuous monitoring and implement proper retention policies. Cloud and virtualization, distributed architectures and ephemeral resources in cloud environments complicate traditional network forensics. The solution is to leverage cloud-native logging and application programming interface-based evidence collection. To effectively conduct network forensics, consider these best practices. Establish a baseline of network behavior. Document normal network traffic patterns to quickly identify anomalies during investigations. Implement strategic logging. Configure comprehensive logging across network devices with synchronized timestamps and sufficient retention. Deploy network sensors. Place monitoring tools at strategic network segments to ensure visibility into critical traffic flows. Maintain chain of custody. Document all evidence handling with timestamps, hashes, and access controls to preserve admissibility. Use automated analysis. Implement tools that can automatically process large volumes of network data to identify potential indicators of compromise. And regular training. Keep forensic analysts updated on emerging network protocols, encryption methods, and attack techniques. In conclusion, Network forensics is a critical component of modern security incident response, providing unique insights that complement traditional digital forensics. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.